Technology class. Um, I just got like five questions I'm gonna ask you about um, this type, this career, and this major. Um, so I can start off with a couple questions. All right. Um, what experience or knowledge is required to do this to do this job? Um, by by this job, do you just mean uh, building sets? Building sets or in the film. In the entertainment, the film production um, type of uh, okay. Uh, yeah. or, do, depending on, on what kind of career you might go into, uh, you're always like a live show, like yeah, live live show. For instance. Okay. Uh, any kind of theater or film career is going to require a good deal of teamwork experience, uh, the ability to work with large number of people, take instruction, follow instructions, push the hand to comprehend. aspects of construction. I have dramatic uh, studies, which kind of covered the theory behind theater, and I've also got a major in anthropology, uh, specifically with cultural anthropology, wow. for uh, historical analysis and script analysis. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Um, okay. What, uh, basically, what, what advice would you give someone thinking about this career? The first piece of advice I can give about this career is do not get into it for the money. It is the most fantastic thing I've ever done in my life. I would, I have actually tried to leave the industry before, and I found myself to be completely miserable. But you will never make millions of dollars, or at least you can't plan to make millions of dollars. A lot of people come into theater thinking, you know, I'll be a, I'll be a star, I'll be like the most highly paid person in the world. Work on making enough to survive, because if you love the industry, you will ultimately end up making more money just from the fact that you're a good worker, from the right. fact that you know your stuff. But you, money cannot be the driving force behind you. You have to love what you're doing. Good. That's good. Alright. Um, how many years experience would I... Well, not experience... Well, experience, knowledge, and school, schooling would I need to have before getting out into... Um, branching out? It kind of depends on what kind of program you go through. Um, mm -hmm. Like, for instance, here at Valencia, usually two to three years is enough to get you out into the field because that's one of the things we concentrate on as an educational institution is getting people the skills that they need to actually go out and work. Um, now, if you're wanting to do something on the upper end, like design or you know do uh, research for, for plays and films and stuff like that, that you start getting into four and five years' worth of, of experience because you have to... You have to take those baseline courses, then you have to get design courses on top of that. You know, any sort of research that has to go into design, um, like you know, set design, you also have to be relatively uh, knowledgeable about history. Same thing goes for costume design, because you have to know, you know, okay, this is being set in the 1950s. Right. So how does the house have to look? How do the props have to look? How do the costumes have to look? You know, uh, so you know that may take you out of 
whatever your, your profession right. actually is, you know, theater, film, all that sort of stuff, and into stuff, you know, like like history, like anthropology, like uh, arts, you know, just in general. Right. Um, so baseline, if you want to be a, a technician or, you know, someone who runs a camera, someone who does a little bit of editing, stuff like that, two, maybe three years. Okay. Design-wise, you're probably looking more like five, four, five, six. Alright, uh, I've got one more. Um, I don't, well, I'm gonna, I don't know if I asked you this. What pre preparation or course 